Hey guys, what's up? We are just winding up here at WWDC 2023. It's finally complete and oh boy, has it been an exciting day. Um, I have to say that there are things that were so interesting in the keynote that you're still sort of absorbing what all has been announced. Let's start off with iOS. So lots of updates for iOS, uh, especially in uh, the messaging aspect. You have things like stickers uh, that you can pick up from emojis. You can also take live images, sort of convert them into stickers, use them within your messages app. Really, really cool feature. I think a lot of people are going to start using it, convert GIFs out of messages and images. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. They've also included a lot of updates for FaceTime, FaceTime effects. Uh, which are going to be rolling out uh, to a lot of people. A cool feature that they announced was name drop. <laughs> it's like airdrop, but for your name. So if you have two iPhones, you bring them close, you can share your contact and a lot of the other information. Another cool feature is that if you're sending something over airdrop and you start to move away, it continues to sort of transfer that information through the cloud. So presently, if you try to do that and move away, it cancels the airdrop. But in this case, in iOS 17, It'll continue the airdrop uh, even if you move away from uh, the computer or uh, the other device that you're sending the airdrop to. Another cool feature that is added to iOS 17 is standby. With standby, when you're charging your iPhone, uh, you can use it as a desk clock, but you can also have interactable widgets uh, right there on the screen. This has multiple modes along with multiple watch faces. It'll look great as a clock on your desk, but more importantly, uh, because of the iPhone 14's always on display, you can have it running in low power at all times. So you can have a constant display on on your screen uh, giving you that information. The MacBook Air also gets an update to a larger 15 inch size. This not only will give you a larger screen, but also larger battery and now claims an 18 hours of runtime. So you get the M2 chip and you get basically the same features as the 13 inch MacBook Air now in a larger 15 inch size. Apple also announced Mac OS Sonoma, which also brought all of the features for messages as well as FaceTime, including some really cool FaceTime effects. You also have now live widgets on the desktop. Uh, you also have a game mode and a lot of focus towards gaming and uh, Hideo Kojima also announced uh, the Death Stranding director's cut for Mac OS. So really exciting, especially if you're a Death Stranding or a Hideo Kojima fan. Uh, this is big news because we already know that the next Death Stranding is in the works. So it means that it may launch on Mac simultaneously with the other platforms. But right now, uh, Death Stranding Director's Cut comes to Mac OS, which is fantastic. So in game mode, it integrates not only performance and uh, graphics capability directly towards gaming, but you also have a low latency for AirPods. So if you're using AirPods, you get low latency audio for your games. And if you're using a PlayStation or an Xbox controller while gaming, that will also increase the polling rate of Bluetooth to double. It improves your latency for the controllers, making gaming a breeze on game mode on Mac OS. Apple Watch will also get a Watch OS 10, which adds a lot of these features, including live widgets. You can simply scroll up and have those widgets. So th this is mostly like what you see on iOS, but it comes into your watch and uh, you can also name drop on uh, the Apple Watch. So if you have an iPhone and an Apple Watch, you can name drop from uh, one device to the other. So that's also really cool. New iPad OS updates also include uh, improvements to the stage manager. You also have live interactive widgets. So previously you could put widgets, but every time you had to interact with them, you had to open the app and now you can simply uh, interact with the widgets directly there on the main screen, uh, which is fantastic. Then also you continue to get the messages and the FaceTime features that we saw on iOS. Another feature is that if you have any widgets on your iPhone or your iPad uh, and the apps are installed on your devices, you can have those widgets come onto your Mac OS without needing to install those apps on Mac OS. So you do have continuity for widgets from the iPhone or the iPad. Now let's talk about the big things. So hardware announcements, uh, Mac Studio gets an update finally. So you get M2 uh, Pro as well as M2 Ultra chips for the Mac Studio with up to 192 gigabyte of unified memory. Uh, lots of improvements in terms of HDMI and uh, lots of connectivity capabilities. So up to eight displays now. Uh, so insane, basically an upgrade from M1 Pro and M1 Ultra to M2 Pro and M2 Ultra. So if you're holding off that Mac Studio purchase, now is the time to pick one up. 
Finally, also the Mac Pro has been updated to Apple Silicon. A lot of people had been waiting for this, especially in the prosumer space. So only with the M2 Ultra is the Mac Pro available. It has six PCIe expansion slots, so PCIe Gen 4 slots, uh, along with four afterburner cards sort of built in. Uh, you have the performance of that, and uh, then you also have eight Thunderbolt ports uh, on the machine, and the same sort of design that we saw with the Mac Pro, uh, the Intel version, you're getting the same design, the same airflow system, everything's the same, uh, and uh, you just have to look at that Apple chip in there, it looks absolutely phenomenal. So we've got all of that, but now, here's the big announcement, and this is what you've been waiting for, and what a time to be alive, because Apple announced the Vision Pro. This device is basically an AR, VR combination headset, but Apple is not taking any of those names. Apple calls it spatial computing. You put this thing on, it has a two hour battery life with the power pack that you get separately, but you can plug it in with a USB-C and uh, get basically endless power. Uh, that can be through a wall socket or simply with another power bank that has a larger capacity. This has a brilliant design made out of metal, uh, really nice glass on the front, but really some really interesting features. So you have two really high resolution displays, uh, which are more than 4K for each eye, which is a phenomenal resolution. Uh, it really immerses you. You also have 12 cameras, not only mapping surfaces around you, but also looking at your hands so that you can interact with the Vision Pro with your gestures. So the Vision Pro also has eyesight. That is a screen on the front of the Vision Pro that shows people in front of you, uh, if you're using uh, the Vision Pro, if you want to talk to people in front of you, the, the eyesight shows them your eyes, but if you're interacting with something within the Vision Pro, it hides your eyes and shows an animation. It looks super cool, very futuristic. They've also introduced uh, Optic ID, which is basically like Face ID, but for your iris, and it scans your eyes uh, to sort of give you access uh, and unlock your device, so that's uh, really cool as well. But more importantly, the materials and the finish uh, is absolutely phenomenal. And uh, when Apple showed off the demo, there were some really interesting things, including their collaboration with Disney, which shows you that if you want to watch a movie, uh, you can, for example, if you're watching Star Wars, you can be in a Star Wars planet and simply have as big a screen as you want and watch Star Wars from Disney. So all of these things were shown off. It's also fantastic for gaming, so you can have a gaming screen any size you want. You can connect a PlayStation controller to it or an Xbox controller and then you also do have a spatial audio built in. So there are speakers built in and you get spatial audio, spatial vision basically everywhere. And you can do multiple things. You can have multiple apps open. It's kind of out there. Uh, no demos for this were given and we weren't allowed to sort of touch and wear the headset for now. Uh, but it appears that the headset is completely ready. The Vision Pro is ready, uh, the physical form as well as the software aspect of it, and they're going to clean it up and eventually launch it next year. But we'll continue to talk about this in uh, the coming days and months uh, because this is going to be an exciting product for Apple. The price is 3,499 uh, US dollars. Uh, that'll translate to about 4 lakh rupees if and when they launch it in India. The launch for the US is slated for early next year, uh, but we'll keep bringing you more information on uh, the Vision Pro. Uh, that was a quick roundup from uh, WWDC uh, 2023 here at Apple Park in uh, the US. Uh, and if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.